This week we are kicking off a new run of Patreon-sponsored episodes, and to get us started, supporter Simon wanted to hear about a comparatively recent new addition to the complex world of Japanese Transformers lore. These are the basics on the Primus Vanguard. The Primus Vanguard was a team of Transformers who defended the multiverse in the ancient past. Named after both the Transformers God, Primus, and the Cybertronian peacekeeping organization The Primal Vanguard from IDW Publishing's comic books, the group was introduced in the Transformers Legends spin-off manga in a story arc by writer-artist Shin Sasaki that ran between 2016 and 2018. The story revealed very little about the Vanguard, only that they had been wiped out long ago after a betrayal by two of their own members. But more details of the group's history were then filled in by a prequel storyline in the Generation Selects manga, which ran from 2019 to 2021, begun by Sasaki and later taken over by Hayato Sakamoto. Both these comics were produced to tie in with exclusive toys being sold through Japanese online retailers eHobby and Takaratomi Mall. They took place in the expanded universe of Japanese media built around the original 1980s Transformers cartoon, and served to flesh out the unique origins of Primus in this continuity, which were very different to his typical depiction in Western Transformers media. In the beginning, long before the Transformers universe as we know it today, there were seven universes created by the ancient cosmic entity, the One. Each universe was home to one of seven differently coloured variants of an energy called Star Power. Each coloured Star Power was concentrated in a matrix wielded by a powerful warrior seven robots together known as the Warriors of the Seven Lights. To unite these warriors into a team, the One chose an eighth robot, granting him a powerful new body by infusing him with an eighth golden power, and bestowing upon him a silver matrix that could absorb and combine all the other star powers into a force powerful enough to rewrite reality itself. This robot was named Primus and under his leadership, the Seven Warriors and their followers joined forces to form the interdimensional Primus Vanguard. The Vanguard was divided into seven elemental colour-coded orders, each led by one of the Warriors of the Seven Lights, each living on their own planet in their own universe, all based on existing Transformers toys. The orders were the Red Order, representing fire, led by the boastful Red Sentinel Prime, based on the Titan Force Sentinel Prime figure from 2016's Titan's Return. The Yellow Order, representing light, an all-female order led by Yellow Splendid Convoy, based on the 2003 Transformers Universe recolor of Robots in Disguise Optimus Prime. The Green Order, representing nature, led by the nurturing Green Tender Convoy, based on the 2013 Transformers Prime Beast Tracker Optimus Prime figure. The Blue Order, representing water, initially led by Blue Brightes Convoy, based on Reverse Convoy from 2004's Robot Masters. When Brightes fell in battle, he was succeeded as leader by Blue Big Convoy, one of the exclusive toys the spin-off manga was produced to promote. The Purple Order, led by Purple Wicked Convoy, based on the 2016 masterpiece Shattered Glass Optimus Prime, representing evil as a part of the natural order. The White Order, representing Ice, led by White Gallant Convoy, based on Battle Corps Optimus Prime from 2015's Combiner Wars. And the Black Order, representing Darkness, led by Black Go Prime, who had previously appeared in 2013's Transformers Go, and was here retconned into being a member of the Vanguard who had used the power of his Black Matrix to travel through space and time into the world of that series. 
The Vanguard's enemies were shadow beings called the Spectres, the evil opposites of the light of their matrices. Unable to defeat them, the warriors were forced to take the drastic step of using Primus's Silver Matrix to combine their star powers and recreate their multiverse. Combining their seven dimensions into a single universe in which the Spectres didn't exist. The plan succeeded, but soon a new threat emerged, an alien species known as the Vok. Seeking to learn the Vok's origin, Primus used the Black Matrix to peer through time, and learned a horrifying truth. At some point in the future, the alien Primacron would harness the star powers and the silver matrix to recreate the universe once more to his design, creating the world of the original Transformers cartoon. In this new world, Primus saw that he would be subjugated by the alien Quintessons, imprisoned within the supercomputer Vector Sigma, and his power used to give life to the Transformers, while the Spectres would be reborn as the Vok, who had now travelled back in time from that future universe, so that they could be the ones to end the previous universe and reshape the next world to their liking. Distraught, Primus believed his only course of action was to change the future by recreating the universe before anyone else could. However, the other warriors thought he had gone mad and refused to give him their star powers. Thus, Primus was forced to initiate a complex scheme to steal their matrices. With the help of a few loyal followers with whom he shared his golden power, he reached into the future universe he had seen and brought Optimus Prime, Megatron, the Seacons, the Dinobots, and the Terrorcons back in time to his world, granting them new forms and powers, all based on new toys from the Generation Selects line. Primus played them off against one another, tricking them into battling the Vok, Primacron, and the Vanguard, thereby moving the star powers into position for Primus to take. Unfortunately, things didn't work out as Primus had planned. In the battles that followed, the entire Blue Order perished when, as the spin-off manga had foreshadowed, the Straxus twins betrayed the group and sided with Megatron, using a rage virus to force their comrades to turn on and destroy one another. Meanwhile, the leaders of the White, Green, Black, and Yellow Orders were killed by the Seacons. Red Sentinel Prime survived the slaughter thanks to his Headmaster abilities, while Purple Wicked Convoy saved himself by pretending to team up with Megatron to help him take the star powers for himself. Wanting to be the one to recreate the universe in his own image, Megatron even acquired Primus's golden power, and used it to create a new Primus Vanguard of his own, made up of seven multicoloured duplicates of himself. Ultimately, the day was saved in a very unexpected way. From the future of the next universe, from a time when the war was over and the Autobots and Decepticons had made peace, arrived the spark of Megatron's own future self, who possessed the body of the green Megatron and joined Optimus Prime in defeating his past self. The determination Optimus Prime displayed, bravely fighting to preserve his universe despite knowing it was a world in which he was doomed to die over and over again, together with words of support from the spirits of the fallen Vanguard leaders, lit a fire within the despondent Primus, inspiring him to face up to and accept his destiny rather than fight it. The Generation Select story ended with Primus returning everyone to their proper time and place, and vowing to continue fighting for his universe and all who lived in it until the time eventually came for it to end. The end of Generation Selects closed the loop with the earlier Legends spin-off manga, in which the Straxuses used the residual spark energy within Blue Big Convoy's Matrix Sword to create a clone of him named Convabat, only for their creation to rebel and join forces with surviving Blue Order combat drone Magna Convoy to take the villains down. Inheriting the blue star power, Magna Convoy joined with Green Megatron, Purple Wicked, Red Sentinel, and three new wielders of the other lights, Deadlock, Drift, and Geaxis, 
to form a new Primus Vanguard. The spin-off manga concluded with Bludgeon taking an interest in the new Warriors of the Seven Lights, and if this story will ever be continued remains to be seen. But even if we never see the Primus Vanguard again, we can be sure they'll continue defending their universe until its fated end. And those are the basics on the Primus Vanguard. Thanks to Simon for sponsoring this episode about our cosmically complex and confusing new addition to the world of the Transformers. Don't forget to subscribe for lots more history and lore, plus get early access to new episodes by supporting the show on Patreon.